you know, mitigate the magical damage. Heal. This is two why different. the Arrow Oracle is overpowered, has too many things, starts with TP, has one strong one base to spell. Still didn't have Albert. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's uh, it it is a little bit tough. There's two different forms of that to spell now with the brew master ulti as well. Um, could be kind of annoying to deal with. I, I've seen Empire go time and again when they get this oracle around this stage, uh, for a death prophet. It'd be a little bit funky to fit into the draft now. It'd be like a safe lane lesh or something, but I guess it's still possible or a safe lane brew. Um, but it feels like it's it's maybe one of those types of heroes that you want to group up and. And already play around those ultis with. Is there anything else that you can see that you really like? Like Huskar used to be an answer to Ember Spirit in the mid lane. Well, they could with Oracle Huskar. They farm with, to band. farm with Lash Rack. How would you want to play against Secret as Empire right now? Yeah, they need a lot of tank, funky strike. I think uh, Team Empire, from what I saw, one and Team Six. Ten oh, seconds you. remaining. I'm not sure. It's... Five seconds remaining. Special. Let's see if they actually. Can. I I will do. Because they hypothetically could take Huskar safe lane too, um, and have like a Lesh mid. Something like that. We've seen Lesh off lane. Lesh Rack mid, I don't know. The Edict Bill, you need. Team Secrets, Tired Team Pick. Anti Mage. Ooh. This is a free Anti Mage. Have no lockdown. All right. No lockdown at one point. Come and go. Has the magical all of these heroes. They need a hero who scale and play the. Ten seconds remaining. Hero list. Five seconds remaining. I mean, I I guess the other option is just to try and end it in like twenty minutes. Which I, I don't think is inconceivable for for Empire if they play their cards right. Like I, to me, it doesn't feel like with Ember Anti Mage what what Empire have right now. I don't think there's a hero that's going to be able to beat that. Like they want to play it like super fast. Maybe go for something that is it even though it's not hero go all in or they need a, a late game to carry this. This is not a good. Leaving your last Phantom pick. Last your pick. Hero. All right, so this hmm. is the BA last pick. Feels good against anti mage. Let's see how far. How far she does not have Magnus in this. No preamp power for her. And it is going to be Kodos playing on the Lesh. If they're going by their normal roles, that would mean he is going mid. Um, which might signal they go with like a different build than the Edict build that you know you we normally see. Do you, do you go back like to the TI five days of Lightning Storm and uh Split Earth, or is that is that terrible? I don't even know. I don't think you want to have points. Wanna rotate the lanes too. Okay. Uh, so far, it's uh, 3 a.m. Game goes in it. We know what needs to happen in this game for Team Empire to be able to pull out an upset and push it to a game number three. But Team Secret, after a dominant display in game number one, they're pretty well set up just to ride this one out if they can make sure those lanes work out well for them. That's going to be the main thing that I'm watching for is like, I just think again, back to game number one, where it was 
five minutes into the laning stage and all of secret was on top is this the type of game where you're going to be in a similar situation as empire a, uh, do, do, do their lanes look better than they did last time they have more stuns how they're gonna put it it's gonna be ba on the mid lane and the flash rack on that edict talked about the bit of that for tiny blue mask she yeah, expected i saw that camera bind thing apparently which is kind of weird normally it stays between games but regardless we're fine <laughs> everything storm panda or oracle can dispel empathy guard or robotic shield hold on to a future a future of grief. of grief yeah but it's still nice to be able to yeah burst through it at least beginning um in the, the laning stage because oftentimes what's what's been the main build i mean we haven't actually seen abbott get that much love at all like kind of just sit there broke as a joke and miss coil folk most of the time a battle of heroes broken the battle begins or the body heal five or complete the opposite the looking list doesn't do anything level four Faith in fate restored. Not great. To a future of to a future of well, it looks like they're going to be going full on aggro try, but this is into mid one ember solo down bottom. They TP, stay you up to the top lane. And this was the old strategy that we saw Secret do as well, is have the tiny as a support in the safe lane and then go for tossbacks underneath the tower. Um, yeah. Secret need to be careful about this. Oh, sorry. Went between tier one and tier two tower, used the power on the range. Lost, done. Not the greatest, greatest start. Well, yeah, they are not to gonna be able to make it. Of grief. That first beat will allow to get a quelling blade and. Meanwhile, Yapsar can come in, go for some Fade Bolt harassment, try and mess with this Leshrac CS, because right now he's only got 25 damage on this Lesh. We'll have it worn off now, and like Zai still gets his hits. We'll be fine. Forcing Oracle to ban on you. Right. Oh, and they do manage to find that kill underneath the tower. So the toss back works. Um, like we were saying earlier, this was what Puppy used to do when they were playing supports for a while. Toss people back underneath the tower and then find the stun, get the edict kill. Quick as that. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So uh, we did see this camp try and get unblocked, but then they sent in uh, say you on the tiny to go for the body block, so they can't get any side pulls working. On a mid lane, two point mana break, running through green mana, the dagger, tries to keep it, get one third, right? Maybe even get it level. To a future of grief. Yeah, kind of uh, hurting a little bit there in the mid lane. Um, still doing okay in CS, not the worst thing in the world. It feels like this is probably just going to be a farm fest unless something really tragic happens. Um, it's going to come down to who last hits a little bit better. And right now it's looking like it's Nisha. Gets the range creep deny as well. Yeah, this is this is not feeling great. Man, oh man, it's getting worked. Every single pack blows, uses magic break on it. Phantom Assassin relies on using those different daggers to get the last, especially the elite. Oh, 
11 and that pressure on a dream it's just a hair's edge at one keeps the pressure on to king r down here in the bottom lane we did see say would put out some pretty decent damage on to zai but now with the creep wave coming in he's going to make a rotation towards the mid lane and do a little bit of rune control one of the notes Oh, it's Love to hear it. Abba goes for the deny there. What's to be expected? And uh, mid one now needs to be careful. He actually doesn't have any mana in mid. Okay, they can't do anything else. He had some stick charges. He's fine. They pull back in towards the top lane though. Yapsor tries to kill off Seiyu. Not quite going to happen, but they do kill off Kodos. The Fates Edict able to bring down that Rubik and Zion say you the two to live. Denied. Zion needed 10 more mana for a Shockwave. Uh, he right does now, have it. He's got to be careful. 160 damage, but the uh, magic is actually more than enough to survive. Bottle. And as we get close to the five minute mark, they're going to contest for these bounty runes. Say you probably will throw out an avalanche, but with Rubik rotating over, he realizes he can't get it in time. And it is a trade off there. Two runes apiece for each team. Once Antimage gets that Serena there's no way to be a. level 5, but the. Yeah. Well, so far, so good for Team Secret, who are coming out ahead in each of their lanes. The main one being this top lane, uh, where Kodos has been somewhat shut down, although he's still maintaining decent levels in comparison to Zai. You got a little bit of free time there. Adam is going to try and put the pressure on, pulling this creep wave back behind the tower. And they're going to keep the catapult wave on this one. So some pretty decent damage here. Top, top lane. Top lane. Okay, off. Nope. <sighs> Almost. Double down. And say you now in some trouble. The shockwave gets the kill, and now Kodos has to pour, pop that salve. They also pop the glyph. Kodos gets the juke, the okie doke wraparound, and just broke Zai's ankles. I mean, it's unfair. He's... <laughs> That's true. A very swift little pony. And you can see now Dream has to rotate back to... The shrine to pop that one. Anti Mage gets some free harassment onto the tower, but Secret are really establishing dominance up here in the top lane. They're keeping this catapult alive. Another creep wave is going to come in in a second. Although the toss back comes, they don't manage to find the stun afterwards. Although Zaya is still taking some damage as the body block comes in. The edict damage is going to almost be enough to bring down Zaya. They find him. They find him, but I love the build. That's the build. That was bottom lane. 37 to left. The two masters is level 5. He's having a good ticket. Level 6. They should try to grab a kill on this bottom lane. Uh. On the top lane, they saw him being there, so. A nice play here, but you talked about that armor. It's making all the difference in the world right now. They're trying to keep Kodos alive with the Fates Edict, and now Yapsor is going to be the one they turn on to. Level 6 for Kodos. Toss forward. Nice play there. Again, this is his comfort hero. Or Seiyu. They find those double kills. Played by Empire. How they adapt. Or do a movement. Phase boost. Yeah. Or 
Uh, mid one needs to be careful. He's not quite level six. God, he needs another level. He needs it to get the ulti off. Is it going to be enough? No, they take it away. He gets level six there, and that's going to give them the remnant to run away. Mid one killed that last creep. Can they catch him out, though? They pop the ulti for this. They'd love to be able to find it. Mid one gets the lift up now. They pull him back down to earth. He does have another remnant, but not quite enough mana to pop it. And now he does have it for the TP home. Mid one got that creep kill, which gave him six. That's Badly for Team Hanspire, he only needed one. This always feels bad because you don't want to Team Hanspire. Oh man! And that—that that was the moment where this lane could have completely turned around, but mid one knew what he needed. Only eight more experience, and King R did a good play there too, able to take off the flame guard, which which meant that he had to hit it actually, the the last creep, the right click, but it didn't happen. Empire show up now in numbers. It will find the root onto mid one and the start just after the great play. It turns it around and dies. And say you're gonna get the toss away. Now they get a kill, plus a tower. Metric has four points. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Thing is, do they want to go again once we respawn? I mean, they, they're still sticking around there. I guess that they want to wait and see. Um, but the pressure may be on to Nisha first. But they will spot Nisha. And... Well, mid one. Yeah, they, he did come back to his remnant. But nobody else was there except for the Oracle. That's not the way to do it. Oh, look at this. Look at Kodos. He's trying to get a little nifty here. Going for the Fate Edict behind the trees. Nisha says no. Haste rune. He has the mana void as well if he wants to go for it. Yeah, like he's gonna play it safe. Mana void on Phantom Assassin probably has one of the lowest, if not the lowest. Dyer's top tower. <laughs> up top, a little trade off there, trying to get denies. <laughs> the mind game. He has his ulti now. And Empire making a decision. Where do we want to rotate for this gank? Do we want to head mid or do we want to try and go top? And it looks like the call is going to be the wraparound towards this mid lane. Take down the tower afterwards. But nobody's home. They're all away for now. And the mage can truly blink. Uh, Leshrac's living through this. Uh, Ember shows up as well. Dagger comes out from Yapsor. They're chasing Seiyu. Now, Yapsor should have toss available. It's just Avalanche instead, actually. Ember does not have point to keep Leshrac in place. Hmm. Bottom tower is under they all the cooldown. Radiant's middle secret. tower is under attack. And Empire basically getting what they want at this stage. Um, tower is within deny range. We'll see if Secret decide to go for it. It looks like Yapsor is going to come over and take that gold away. 20 damage at a time. King R. Oh, move into position. Get it. Would have been one last hit. But it doesn't work. So Secret do manage to get the deny on the tower. They lost the tower at the bottom one. The one that's open back there. Mask for Empire to play in their domain. Getting closer to the Battle Fury. All the way. Only the threat when you're playing against. How fast can you play? He is the late game manager. Switching over from that. Yes, to net worth. He's sitting top of it. 5,600 right now. We do have another rotation. Empire have been pretty good with finding kills. Getting these rotations, but it's often been with the tiny. And Kodos now breaks the smoke, runs into Puppy. He's going to try and chase him down right now. He does have his ulti, though. And the root coming out afterwards. Puppy, dove, and kill. Although, are they going to be able to get out with everybody else? They pop the ulti now. King R, they're able to steal it, though. False promise. Now Maiden tries to turn this back around. They use the False Promise on Anisha. That keeps him alive. Kodos also living through this one. And now Maiden needs to make sure he doesn't give away Primal Split to the Rubik. They show 
One lift up onto the anti mage, and now the runaway. They managed to grab a kill on a bad with five. With no objective taken to actually support. Anti mage still free farming. What? Get a map. Go a bit slower. That's worth the mage. First, I don't know what to make up this time. Oh. Well, uh, tell me your thoughts on this, because uh, I've heard conflicting reports on PA versus anti-mage in the late game. Some people say that PA can just, like, dominate him. Other people say that AM is the one to beat. Like, how do you see that matchup playing out? Uh, he relies on not in my opinion, but still sure. Of course, on their side, mm. but they should be careful about Ant Mage and the one who right. loses all his mana. It's a great setup for big mana. Dire are scanning. Scanning. No, that was not going to happen. Empire able to pick up Donny Rune for them as well. So it ends up being two apiece, it looks like. And it should be uh, Vlad's done for Brewmaster as well. When we talk about who's stronger, PA or Phantom, or PA or anti mage, what is it? In a demo mode, level 25, get six slotted, press auto attack. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, hello. There's a Doom. That's a Doom. And Brew trying to run away, but they find their man. And he is going to be ran down. Oh, that feels so bad for the Brewmaster. Mid one gets that kill. They will try to continue this smoke gank with Brew being dead. I guess that there's still an opening since they know that Doom is down. What do they find though? It's just Puppy. Drop down the ward up on the high ground there and gonna wait this out. Eventual run down. Oh, toss back. Okay, they find two. Gonna be able to get the deny though coming and Yapsword lives through it as well. Doom walking forward, trying to find themselves a kill. Dream is gonna drop Zai, does so much damage and well, King R is also going to the grave. Heels comes back around the other direction. Maiden does have his ulti now if he wants to pop it. Able to get it off in time, turns towards Zai, tries to find that kill as well. He is gonna be able to bring down this Doom most likely. Zai jukes into the pit, heads back the other direction. Can he get out of there in time? He's trying to escape away from this one, but I think that eventually this brew is gonna bring him down. And on the other side, Kodos also fell. Four for two in the end. Yeah, the puppy got to deny, and we saw that anti -mate. Once he uses half of his mana, he'll pretty insane. He's gonna need a seat. Even these fights are gonna last for long. Oracle doesn't have He attack. will run out of mana. Even if he has a seat. Also see while the pressure is coming up top for Empire trying to kill off Puppy here. It is all space created. Like he gets the deny even. Like anti mage just took a two stack of ancients while that's happening. Oh, that feels so bad for Empire. Four thousand gold lead now for Secret. They feel in firm control of this one. They find King R in mid one, waiting to pop that flame guard. Doesn't even need to chase down for the Oracle. Just wants the creeps, wants to get the tower, and afterwards wants to get out. See this thing take the long chase then, and eventually hit. Phantom Assassin has battle fury. Oh, another doom up top. Can they get to the brew in time? He's running. He's trying to get out of there. And it looks like he is going to escape. And in fact, if they wanted to, they could think about turning since this brewmaster ulti is going to be off very soon. He's decided he wants to camp. Okay. 
Ward is up on the high ground though. They want to fight right now. They know that they're no doom. They're big fighting Alfie. Hey, you? Does have that blink available? Is there any other Radiant's detection nearby? Doesn't look like there are any sentries. Ember shows up. They're playing it safe. We get within range. We're gonna see him in just a second here. They use invis is about to wear out though. And they drop down a sentry ward. That spots this ward up on the other side though. And Doom takes it away. Still a good chance for a fight here, although they don't have PA. Oh, Ember jumps forward, finds the root, takes it off. Kodos living for the moment. Jump forward. Bruce Foot comes out as well. Can they do any more damage? The toss back onto Ember. The follow up is there as well. So much damage coming from Empire. They control Zai for a moment, but only a moment. Buyback coming from the Ember now. They pop the BKB from Zai, trying to turn onto this one. They've already used the False Promise. Is there any more save coming from Kodos? The dagger gets thrown back the other way, but Nisha, he's actually out of mana in a second here. Can they bring him down in time? Oh, he gets the heal back up. And now afterwards, Puppy is eventually going to fall, but Seiyu, another Avatar's combo kills off the anti-mage. Ember's doing a lot in this fight, but it's not looking like it's enough. And the Absor is also trapped. He gets the blink out, and that's going to stop it. But a great fight for Empire. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why Ember Chris is not good against the Oracle. He just purges off his field, and then he has no magic over whatsoever. He also used buyback in the previous fight. There was no doom out of the king. Could have. Uh, Take the fight there. Also, there was not a good mana point. Popped it on Oracle, didn't even grab a kill. Mm. He needs to save that mana void for last track. Because that's a core left. Right. Farm will get a lot Oh, puppy. <laughs> he gets the DD away. But I think he's going to pay for his insolence here. So they do find that kill. Again, it's just the position 5 ABBA. Not the biggest deal in the world, but it's something. So if you're right now Team Empire, like what, what do you need to try and accomplish over the next couple of minutes? They need to think about Roche with this Vlad's on Brew. Um, yeah. do, do you are you still worried about Nisha? PA will get that though. And Empire might have still more carry. If they can get a big drop, this is guaranteed Roche. After that. Goes down. He just finished off his Midas. Do you get to use it? Oh no, feels bad. Massive Fidus. <laughs> I do feel like it's it's kind of uh, one of those items that you always love to build on Brew in, in these games where you know that Lash is going to be just eating up waves and so is this PA. So you need to find a way to get some farm on this guy. But a smoke up coming. One thing we did not make. Right. Those Um, if you Mantas obviously can get the dispel on it, but you want to, right? Yeah. Well, and it, it's also the type of thing that you don't want to have to use on just that, right? Like there's so many other things to probably want to Manta off. I guess maybe not this game. Fates Edict is probably the big one, I guess. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So 1,000 gold lead for Team Secret, but it is going to be Empire going for the smoke up play. Tiny is away from them, but he does have a blink dagger. And where are Empire going? They're just going to try and sneak it in the pit. This is real bold, but if they can make it happen, this is huge. And I don't, I don't know. Oh, Secret immediately scan. They, they know what's happening. They're going to try and get some swoop push going from Nisha, but. Oh, mid one jumps in, but they can't get it. Now yeah, they spot out mid one. And where do you go from here if you're Empire? I mean, they can head down bottom and try and force Nisha away. Empire making the plays they need to here in this game number two. Trying to force it to a game three. Mid one finds King R. He's going to be chased down and eventually killed off. But everybody else gets out. Look at the build of Ember. <laughs> he is just going full damage. Maelstrom and as that was good. Wow. Who does he go for though? Right now, vision-wise, they do spot them out here. 
Uh, they only know about Nisha, but they did see the rest of Secret head off the other direction. So Dream jumps forward. The Avalanche toss combo connects there onto Rubik right at the start. Can they blow him up in time? They jump forward. Find the double kill. Dream makes it happen, but they did get a Doom onto the left. It's not enough, though. And Zai needs to get out of here. Gets half his HP gone in one hit from Dream. Tries to TP out. It is not going to work, though, as the lift up is there. And Zai gets brought back to Earth and then into the grave. Triple kill for Dream. Empire rolling. Wanted to take a tier 2 tower with the Delta full squad. Still fighting into. You know, there's gonna be some. Right now, this Phantom Assassin is max. Through the Gra, level 3. Illusion. On, we saw in that Not fight too. Nisha had to blink away. He had to get out of there because the PA did too much damage. Not looking good for me. Radiance middle so aggressive has uh, 3 minutes 20 seconds left on the stage. Uh and and dream ooh blink away <gasps> The sleight of fist that gets the kill. Oracle was not there to help him out, and now that's he just gone for not really anything. Empire, a flub there, but we'll see if they can turn it back around as they will have an avalanche toss combination in a second. Gapsor able to get away. Yeah, and that that really does not feel good. Just losing the Aegis there. Radiance top tower like that. is under attack. Is playing the game will grab. One bathroom might even grab a tower. The A is CP and all this bomb that can go. Tower. So with the level 20 talent, minus two and a half second blink cooldown. So much more mobile. Team fight and got the wave. Oh my god, that's blind. They don't have any vision. He knows the separate blinks back and forth and he was finally able to get it now they jump forward and they blow up dream your dream is dead your pa is gone and kodos is gonna be next his mid one has him in his sights nisha this low cooldown on blink there is no answer as they take down the leshrac to boot suddenly secret explode in energy and just eliminate empire I said it's not looking good for Team Secret. Yes, it does. If they tried to throw the game, that's the two. Two and tier three towers for no reason. Lose Aegis, then uh, lose a carrier and three heroes. Right now, Nisha has almost a full bar of my bed. The tier three gone. That's the best though from Ember Spirit. Working really nicely. I mean, how quickly this turns around. You look, it was actually in favor of Empire winning the game and then giving up that Aegis and those couple of kills like you talk about. Suddenly, it's Secret with the substantial lead. And they lose a full set of racks. They're going to lose a second one here. They don't want to buy back on this PA. What can you do at this point if you're Empire? Look for a return kill. It's not happening. These guys are out. Radiance top tower is under attack. So they lost one set of racks and tier three will lose. Ryan on top of it. Empire, they need to do some. How to the lane, try to go for a slow game. Fight the boost. Every time the split is up, Bell actually working really well against Spotic Shield, against Mercury, there's the flame guard. It might be too late, right? Yeah, I mean, it. it... <laughs> It is still pretty much just this anti-mage that's the, the main cause of the difference in net worth. And there is always that worry of, you know, a PA jumps on him, happens to find a crit, maybe gets a bash since he's building towards that basher uh, after the BKB. And suddenly he just ends the, the, the anti-mage's life. Um, but it, it kind of feels like that's dependent upon Nisha making bad plays. I'm uh, feeling worried. All right, everybody's here except for that tiny. Yeah, the BKB, but they have no barrier for the ogre pack. Yeah, they lose the tier two. Still tiny, trying to farm away. He is going to push out this bottom lane. And Dream also getting close to that level 20 talent, the armor corruption. Will help with that burst that they need to try and blow up Nisha. 
Who's going for the Scotty now? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Do a lot of that, a lot of profundity. A lot of to go in out of the fight unless PA gets the lucky crit or two, there's no way you're Oh, this is pretty good for them if they can find it though. Zai moves into position, gets the Doom onto PA. And is going to get the False Promise out, keeping him alive for the moment. The Fates Edict is not going to be enough to keep this PA alive, though, I think, as they eventually run her down. Say you can have the toss back. She is still living through it, though, for the moment. Okay. Madden in some trouble also, as he is fully surrounded, and his Brulings might die off in a second if he's not careful. The turnaround comes, though, and they find that kill on a puppy. And also able to find the kill on Desai. Chase forward for more. Nisha will have another blink away, though. And with Dream running... Mid one, trying to get out of there. Can they run him down in time, though? He's got too much movement speed. It looks like the chase is not quite going to be there. So Empire find themselves a couple of kills and show they still have some signs of life. Once again, Antimage uses Void on Oracle. Bring him down, even though Oracle already popped. Promise, ideally, you would want to blow up Oracle with spells off or force use full promise on himself. I think he needs to save that mana void for last. Okay. One for one. Tribute to my house. And we are kind of seeing a, a problem with this build from Nisha is he's running a little bit low on mana, which maybe is part of the reason why he's also going for that Scotty. Like he has good regen, but he's just blinks so often uh, with this level 20 build the way it's at. That it does start to, to wear on him a little bit, it feels. Just don't blink. <laughs> Gotta blink, man. Radiant's Gotta get out of there. Tower is under attack. So, I mean, now you start to look at these item builds. Things looking a little bit better. The Brewmaster was able to finish off an AC for himself. Uh, BKB done on PA, getting towards that basher. I mean, sure, they're down a set of racks and a tower, but do, do you think that there's still an opening here for Empire to make something happen? They have ways of uh, dealing with the deep wave. You have uh, Battle Fury on uh, PA, you have Last Track. The type of thing where you let them live for a little bit too long and you all get melted. Roche, we're about 20 seconds away from the respawn. And Brew Split, looks like Brew wants to go for a Sheep Stick next. So, trying to itemize to deal with that Anti-Mage. See if that's what he decides to go for in the end, or if he wants to wrap that up and go something else. Oh, Smoke on Smoke action. Radiant's Gotta watch this one. Tower. Where do they open at that? Zai, he has the Doom available. They're gonna run into everybody, Maiden. He's trying to get it off in time. He is gonna be able to get it. The Avalanche toss came before Zai could get off the Doom. And King R able to save himself as well. The jump forward finds the Doom now on a PA, but she's still doing a lot of damage. The blink away, they're living through this one. Can it work? Empire running out of the Brulings, though. Maiden still living for the moment. Seiyu is gonna get brought down by Puppy in the end. Kodos tries to escape, is not gonna find the split, and Nisha finds the kill. Buyback coming from the Oracle, though, and Dream just blows up Zai. They need to find a little bit more, though. The Root's going to come out in a second. He might have used the counter spell too early as he is going to be rude. No, it's on such a low cooldown. It didn't matter, but they kill off Puppy. And the key thing, Roche is open. They need to go into Roche straight away. One, two buybacks on the side of the Empire and the Puppy got back. Even though Doom was used on Phantom Assassin, they had no follow up yet. First turret was blown up before the fight. Seiyu has made such key plays on this tiny this game and making sure that Mado is able to get it, but Nisha jumps in! Uh, did he steal anything? He's hitting on absolutely all of them! They're all getting eliminated! Nisha versus the world! Is he gonna be able to win in the end? He has the Fates Edict, so he can't right-click anybody. PA tries to pop the cheese, turn to fight this. Can she live through? Can she kill off Nisha? Still standing tall, the Bash comes out afterwards. The Mana Void, though, eliminates that Aegis. Nisha doing so much damage, and he just blinks away at the end! He killed them all and gets out scot-free. And now takes the little bit more jump toward for King R. Nisha, the manliest of man, even though he's only 17 or 18 or ever old this guy is. 
he is good enough to play and finds himself that PA, wants to make it happen, but the turnaround, the stomp though interrupting by Zai, that's to turn this one again, they can't blow up Nisha, the blink cooldown is too low and Dream continues to be kited, they fall back on the brew though and that means Secret needs to get out. Dream is playing so aggressively right now, to call on Nisha using the body shield and heal as many times as he can in the team fight and die, die. Yeah, and they are going to trade his life, though, as they take down the Tiny for the Doom. He desperately needs that MPP. Can't cut through Phantom of Death. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Likewise, PA needs that MKP to cut through the, the Anti-Mages. But even if you find that, like, are you going to be able to control Nisha? They, they need more lockdown. I like what the Empire did. Roche Pit, they gave... Ages to last track because that fight, fight ideally you would want to have on. Don't have the seeds and ages for the next fight, but they could still 10,000 gold lead. 10,000 gold lead, but it feels like Empire staying with it. And as the net worth continues to rise for these dire heroes, they'll have some of those items to deal with an AM. Um, certainly, he's not capped out right now. Still can get a BKB on Nisha, and also has the Magic Resistance spell instead of going for the Mana Void cooldown. 79% um, magic. Radiant are scanning. Insane. Pretty nut. Mid one went back for the Daedalus after the Deso. So even though they're... It's a baller, man. He goes all in on the damage. It's been quite... Quite some time since I saw someone building uh, items like this. Like, you usually don't see Maelstrom and Esco. Yeah. But the second stack now, four, they were all. Both of them. Well, and it's sort of becoming this thing, too. Like, well, sure, they're killing mid one in each of these fights, and they've been able to find him a couple of times, but. Um, it's two damage dealers now with the anti-mage also there and now anti-mage has a bkb it's Become even harder for them to lock it down right now. They, they don't have anything except for bashes from pa They need to get lucky, but she did finish off the mkb That's gonna be a big item Has butterfly for quite some time. Oh dd bottom dream wants to go for it this is big. If they, I mean, it looks like Secret are getting in position to try and take this fight now. Oh, he also has a bottle so he can pop it for the fight start. This, this is, is actually huge. And this is not scouted either. So Secret not going to realize that this DD is there until it might be a bit they too should, late. They should smoke right now. They have one. Check. No smoke. But they are fighting within good vision. Mid one is right underneath this ward here okay they spot nisha dream he does have it do they want to tempt fate do they want to try it out there's an opportunity here but it's so deadly if they miss the jump forward crits is it gonna be enough he finds the match no the lift up comes though they're able to keep him alive oh the save the save and they immediately try and run away from that one that was a nice play king guard uses fortunes and the four phantom assassin blink so they can't get the you have to wonder if if that lift did not come from Yapsor and Dream either gets a crit or a bash, that could have been a dead Nisha. Man, again, very tense moment here. Secret still with the very substantial lead. Empire lead. Empire's been stuck in their base, but it doesn't feel like it's a foregone conclusion. There's still opportunities here. For Empire to take a fight. Also, Dream getting closer to that level 25 talent for the triple stifling dagger. I mean, do you start to think about things like a rapier for PA at this point? Crystal Blade first. Two minutes. Still stone. Assassin has one queued up to get that triple stifling dagger. the pressure now secret gonna lay down another ward just so they can keep eyes on what these runes are they don't want to be caught off guard again by another padd because even though the abba was there and could have potentially 
save the anti-mage. It's still that moment where, you know, anything can happen with this hero in a matter of seconds. Crits cause haziness. Crazy. And it is MKB done for AM. He does not have buyback. He does not have buyback nor boot. <laughs> Overrated. And he's just gonna walk up high ground and say, Come and deal with me. They are gonna TP back Madden, and that stops the pressure for the moment. But Nisha, real hard to deal with. The stun is there. Aquatic Shield takes it off. The jump one's done. The crit to catch the kill. It's gonna come out. Nisha drops. Doesn't have buyback. And they might have spotted the MKB. They might realize that this is happening. Okay, run forward, tries to chase this one. Mid one ends up jumping back the other direction. Not sure if he used his remnants correctly, and now mid one is in trouble. He doesn't have any way to get out of here either. He also falls. 80 seconds, no Ember. Mid one has a buyback, but he misused those remnants. Came back into a fight. They need to do something right now. Ideally, you would want to run back guard with them. You don't have super creeps on the bottom lane, and it's pushed out. They're thinking about it, and already puppy is going to run down there and try and interrupt but you also can't afford to give up your your limited heroes that you have now puppy is important in these fights to take off those stunts well yapsor pressuring the lane it's like they're they're playing it a little bit safe right now triple stifling daggers done for dream What's he going for Radiance he's going to finish off the abyssal blades okay Glimmercade on Oracle and 10 second BKB on Tiny. Tiny, that position for Tiny, he's expected to go for Power Thread, 30 damage talent, Echo Saber, so he's got a scale. Yeah. Well, and Empire obviously did not know that it was no buyback, but they're still going to be able to get some pressure there. Take down the tier 2 tower, and Roche possible to respawn in 10 seconds. I don't think that it's going to be quite in time before this anti mage respawns but we'll see the actual respawn time is now and it looks like it's a 40 seconds so a short respawn timer which means empire is going to be in a decent position although secret making this wraparound happen who do they find abyssal blade done dream daggers go out reveals himself that shows that yapsor was in the mid lane glimmer cape to try and run away and Zai, the one that's standing up front and center. No Blink Dagger still on this Doom. They check Roche. See, it's not up. It is only 10 seconds away, though. And Zai is just hanging out in the pit here. Yeah, better up they can somehow manage to blow up the Or he can get a spell off. That would be... Well, and this is where things get a little bit scary, too. They killed off this other creep wave, so Empire now have a creep wave with catapults heading up towards Secret's base. And so somebody is going to need to come and deal with this. Unless Secret can pressure this high ground and force Empire out of their defensive position, they're going to need a TP to deal with this. I love what's mad at Even though he does not have a brain dagger, he's trying to go Oh. There's a team fight. He uses final Double down. Nisha walks in. The danger, danger. Will Robinson. Nisha finds him. The lift up comes immediately. He gets the false promise, though. The save is going to be there. And now the doom comes out afterwards. Can they keep this PA alive through it all? He needs the life steal throughout all of this. And find Zai. The crit is going to be there. Is not going to be enough to keep her alive. Does not have buyback either. Zai tries to run. Tries to get out of there. Kodo's going to be under control and eliminated the buyback is 250 gold away and pa doesn't have it double damage anti-mage and i don't think that's what like pa trying to solo kill the roach to use the blur it's a, it's kind of risky if it works but the red that you can see and the kids will play from the storm panda he knows that the mage had a bb there he fell blindly in the roach bit DKB used in that last one, and still you're about 200 gold away from buyback for this PA, but that 200 gold might be all that it takes, because right now they don't have the damage to deal with Nisha, and she is dead for 50 seconds as they finish off this top set of racks. Glyph not available for Empire.
Do they have anything in the tank right now? It really doesn't feel like it. Still 30 seconds away. No bounty runes to pick up. And they take off the Cinder Brute, take down this last set of racks, and Empire are gonna have to play against Mega Creeps. Man. Alive in 20 seconds. Secret. They have, a buyback. They have had such, such good decision making this entire game. Secret have been dominant so far. 17,000 net worth lead. The Ancient is going to go down here. They have one last fight left in them, but the Doom is already out now. Leshrac, he got his spells off, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Avalanche toss. They try and take down mid one. It's not there. Nisha under fire, just trying to take down this building, trying to take down the Ancient. PA is here, but can they blow her up? Can they find this kill on Anisha? Al, it's looking like they're running away for the moment, and they do kill off the PA. She buys back now. Tries to run forward. Mid one is back into this fight as well. They get the Bruce split off. Still living for now. Empire trying to keep their hopes alive. Nisha turns. And they are going to find the root, but there is no more follow up. Dream wants to take down the rest of these heroes. He can't focus on the Aegis carrier in Nisha, although it looks like that's going to be his final jump forward and try and take him down. It is just the Aegis, at least for now. They find the root afterwards onto Puppy, pull him back down to Earth find that kill. There's creeps on the Ancient, though, and Nisha is going to be controlled for the moment. Another route, keeping him under fire, but the BKB is there, and Dream. Dream is going to go down. Nisha still lives through all of this one. A triple kill for Nisha, an ultra kill for Nisha, and GG as he's going to finish it off with this Rampage, most likely. Unless he just blinks away and, well, makes me look dumb, but that is going to be game number two going Secrets away. I feel like Team Empire, they add up windows to actually win this game one fight before they decided to